Greetings, dear brothers and sisters. As always, happy Sabbath. Welcome to the Height Seventh-day Adventist Church. What a privilege to be able to gather together in this beautiful sanctuary to worship the Lord. As always, for your safety, make sure that your vehicles are locked. Do not leave any valuables in your vehicles. We want to encourage everybody to care for the sanctuary and what we have here, any food or drinks. Everybody's encouraged to have them in the fellowship hall or the foyer outside. Today, we will continue with bell choir. There is going to be a meeting from 2 to 3 p.m. in the music ministry room. And so everybody's welcome to uh, participate. Those of you who have been training and practicing for this new year of activities. At 3 o'clock, we have the Bible marking class with Brother Dan Lech. Everybody is welcome to uh, join that meeting as well. Learn how to give Bible studies. Learn how to uh, mark your Bibles in such a way that you can use them as tools for the preaching of the gospel. We continue with our booth in our fairgrounds and it has been a blessing to have, especially this year, in a particular way, uh, the virtual reality library showing many different scenarios from the Bible. I want to encourage you if you have not had a chance and if you're visiting uh, the fair still this weekend, please come by our booth and um, make sure that you enjoy this beautiful blessing that we have. I want to encourage those of you who like to support these events happening every year, please consider your donations. We would like to invite Sean and his wife again next year with uh, this same technology so that we can continue to spread the Word of God. If, um, if you would like to still volunteer, please talk to uh, Brother Jeb. You might need some help in uh, picking up the booth and all the different things as we close this weekend with the fair. I want to encourage everybody to come to prayer meeting. We'll be going through the book, uh, Ministry of Healing, powerful book. Chapter 20 is going to be the chapter for discussion this Wednesday at 7 p.m. Everybody's welcome to come. Normally we spend time in prayer and discussion of the chapter. Please make sure that you are keeping up with our prayer meeting. I want to also let you know that we will have a special program of prayer this Thursday at 6.30 p.m. by via Zoom only. Zoom link is available right there. You can see the meeting code and the passcode available on this slide show. You can also uh, contact Sister Rebecca and Brother Jeb for the information on this. We want to pray for our upcoming evangelistic meetings, upcoming evangelistic event. So this Thursday, we're going to spend time praying for our meetings. And also on Friday, we're going to be having our Vespers as we have been doing regularly. We'll continue to watch the video uh, Keepers of the Flame. We're on part three now. Everybody's welcome at 7 p.m. At the, in the fellowship hall so that we can continue with our Vespers. And finally, I just want to encourage you once again, please, this Sabbath coming up, next Sabbath, we're going to have our evangelistic meeting. Brother Herb Orijana is going to be here in the morning preaching, encouraging the church. And then in the evening at 7 p.m., we're going to begin the last battle. The last battle is a message of hope for the entire week, every evening at 7, we're going to be meeting and everybody's encouraged to come. I want to say this right now. Uh, the snacks are going to take place at 6.30. From 6.30 to 7, we're going to be having a light snack. So if you're leaving from work, you can come, have a light snack and prepare yourself for the meeting at 7. Uh, everybody's welcome. Please consider sharing the flyers. The flyers are here now. You can pick them up at the entrance. You might have received one on your bulletin as well. You can invite friends, family members, co-workers. Please let the word out. Uh, we did, in fact, send the mail out to the neighborhood around the church, but we will still need you to encourage someone to come. The most effective way of bringing people to Jesus is sharing with them and inviting them personally, not just through a mail out. So please consider who are you going to bring, who are you going to invite. And also for everybody that is watching this video, you are invited to come. Consider committing to every single night. We're going to have a great speaker. We're going to have great musicians. Brother Steve Darmody and Sister Jennifer LaMountain are going to be here singing. They're going to be having especially a concert to close on Sabbath at the end of the meetings. You do not want to miss any of that. I want to also let you know we got this uh, program coming very soon. God's Positive Promises is going to start again with a new set. A new cycle is going to begin September the 30th in the Fellowship Hall. Everybody's invited. Claim God's Bible promises just as Jesus did. Learn how to overcome sin just as Jesus did. Experience real answers to your prayers just as Jesus did. This is a special program for everybody in the church. Everybody's welcome to come September the 30th, 6.30 p.m. is the beginning. And from there on, I am sure it's going to continue every Monday. So you do not want to miss it. Please engage in all the programs that we are putting together. I want to uh, once again remind you to save the date. We're going to be having a wonderful all-church potluck picnic and sundown worship at the Long Lease, October the 5th at 3 p.m. You do not want to miss it. Please come and enjoy our time together. Finally, I want to remind us of the scroll, our prayer scroll, and uh, also the prayer cards. These are two different things. The scroll is in the back of the church. The prayer cards you can find in the back of the pew in front of you. 
uh, you can write down in there your requests. And normally when you turn them in in the offering plate, we take those requests. Also, we input them in the scroll. We want to have a, a consolidated prayer source where we can come and just pray for the scroll, pray for those requests that have been made, and also write down the thanksgiving. I want to remind you that if you have been praying for something the Lord has answered, please share your testimony. Put it in one of those cards, those prayer cards also in the scroll. And talk to Sister April as well. We would like to get you uh, sharing your testimony with the church. It will be awesome to be able to hear what the Lord is doing in our midst. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for being here. It is a blessing to be able to uh, invite you and welcome you at the Heights Seventh-day Adventist Church. Have a wonderful Sabbath day.